Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To the Most High, yeah, Elohim be the glory. To the Most High, yeah, Elohim be the praise. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shalom, shalom. I want to welcome everyone to the West African Hebrew Israelites, the hidden identity. Thank you so much for joining today's teachings. I know your life will never be the same. I will take this opportunity and say thank you to our new subscribers and thank you to our, our, our old subscribers. It's not easy for everyone to, um, anyone to come across your channel and like stop whatever they are doing and decided to subscribe to the channel. That means they appreciate or they enjoy the teachings that um, one posts. So I bless the name of the Most High for. The opportunity given unto us bringing this message these messages each time that we have the messages and our subscribers too are enjoying it so that is the reason why i say thank you from the bottom of my heart i really really appreciate each and every one of you guys let's move on um before we start with today's um teachings we have to remind ourselves of who we are Ready, one of the covenants um, that I most high have with us, um, the book of Second um, Chronicles, chapter seven, fourteen, and I read: If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. I am so excited for today's teachings. I think I tend to say this a lot and I, I, I mean it like each and every teachings are different and they are unique in any um, like however you, you frame it or how, however you put it the each teachings are unique so today we are uh, we'll be doing um we are going to east africa we are doing um ethiopia not particular as a tribe but the people of ethiopia and um there was a mind um a king emperor being a emperor uh Haile Selassie, emperor Haile Selassie or king harry Selassie's uh h his name is h a i l E. Then Silas is S E L A S S I E. Perahesilasi. So um, let's bring the map or uh, the map that we have. That will be the map of Africa and show uh, the part of Africa being East Africa, and then Ethiopia. We have it on the screen right now, and we have arrow pointing. Uh, to Ethiopia, to Somali, then Ethiopia. So Ethiopia is on the um, east of Africa. Then uh, we tend to base our teachings on West Africa a lot. And so today we, we are doing um, Ethiopia being the king of Heselasi. Um, let's bring the next map. We have the next map on the screen right now. And this particular one is showing like Africa on on. The, that would be the bigger map. Then on the bottom right, we have the map of Ethiopia. So um, the, he, I think he is, he is the last emperor or the last um, famous king um, that ever lived. Live. I, I think after he died, they don't have any emperor anymore, if I'm not mistaken. Let's bring the, uh, the picture of this unique king, uh, the emperor his Selassie, or the king, his Selassie. Um, we have the picture of the um, king, his Selassie, or the emperor, his Selassie, on the screen right now. He was born on um, 1892, um, July 23rd, and um, he lived up to uh, 27th August 1975. So he ruled um, up to, like, from 1930 up to 1974. Emperor Hiselasi, um, it's, be it's believed that or it's foretold that he was, um, what a, a descendant of what uh, Menelik, being the son of 
uh, queen of Sheba, or um, that will be Solomon's um, have a son with queen of, queen of Sheba. So um, Menelik was um, like a grandson of the emperor Hisselasi will be the grandson or the descendants of uh, the uh, Menelik being the son of Solomon or the son of queen of Sheba. So uh, one who asks why we are doing um, Hisselasi of Ethiopia. So that is the reason why uh, we are doing, we have to dig and see um, the pattern being uh, the emperor and um, the pattern of him being the descendants of what uh, Solomon, King Solomon, then uh, Menelik. So let's move on. <laughs> As we can see on the screen, um, seeing the emperor picture, the, uh, the people of Ethiopia, Ethiopia people come in different shape, different shape being um, skin tone wise. But the... Um, these uh, fair colored people, or they, they look like the mixed race, are uh, more of one who say they are Arab descendants, they have European on them, they have German, they have Italy, they have so many uh, mix among them. So, um, I don't want to spoil the fun, I'll bring more pictures, they will continue. Let's bring uh, another picture. We have a picture on the screen right now, show uh, four women, and you can see the appearance. They are, um, some look like Arab, some look like, like pale white. That's their skin tone. And I'm not saying all Ethiopians are uh, like white. No, but we have darker Ethiopians. Some are very dark. That will be more of like native people, native Ethiopians. But the uh, uh, Arab Ethiopians or mixed Ethiopians are majority. If, uh, would that make sense? Let's bring the next one. Uh, we have another one. You can see four women with their hair. Uh, you can see their appearance. One who will say they are Arabs or they are mixed. And the famous name that they have for them is um, Ethiopian Jews or uh, Better Israel or House of Israel. Let's um, bring the next one and see. We have another one on the screen right now. And this particular one too is showing um, women, being Ethiopian women, um, the lighter skin tone women. So this one will be more of like uh, the family or um, the emperor people. They are the lighter skin tone. I'm not saying these women or these people are from the same tribe as the Hisalas. No, I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying, they are all uh, mixed race. We have another picture on the screen right now, and this one is showing the Emperor Hisselas and um, the Queen of England. That's is black, uh, black and white, but still we can see being Queen of England and the Emperor will be on the right side on the screen. Let's bring the another one. We have another one on the screen right now, and this one will be President Kennedy of U.S. with the Emperor and the wife too. So this one we have. On the screen right now um let's move on like i said the story goes um like this the emperor hiselasi come from um the tribe of i would say judah that's the story because of um solomon or shalomon king solomon his son um being menelik or the queen of sheba's son being menelik um he is from da uh, line or that lineage so that makes uh, him being the descendants of what Shalomon the king Shalomon in Israel being Judah but we have to um, if you are not if you are not new here you know who uh, the people of Israel are being the Hebrews are but if you are new on this channel or watching this video you may say yeah um, they are Jews because this story is not um, new is old. Everyone know. Oh, Ethiopians are uh, Jews. Oh, Ethiopians are they are Hebrews. Ethiopians are like this. Like it's well known thing. They are. They have the oldest church. They have the oldest this. So like so many proof to show that they are the people of old. So everyone believe that. So um, these teachings will prove to us 
otherwise. So please, please have patience and stay tuned. We have to have understanding the reason why we have, we have found favor here yeah, giving our, uh, us these messages. It's for our privilege. It's for us to have um, understanding of him. He is doing this for our favor, revealing who we are because of us and for our favor, for us to draw near to him. Let's quickly read something in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 9, read from 1 up to 2. And I read, like I said, Exodus chapter 9, uh, verse 1 to 2. Say, Then the Lord Yahweh said unto Moshe, Go into Pharaoh, go into the Pharaoh, and tell um, him that that says the Lord God Yahweh Elohim of Hebrew, Yahweh Elohim of Hebrew, let my people go that they may serve him, that they, they may serve me. The Lord sent Moshe to tell uh, Pharaoh that let my people go that they may serve me. So this became warning that Yah was giving to Moshe to go and tell Pharaoh for to if for if they refused to let them go, their weight was hold themselves. So. Like you cannot hold themselves. So. The purpose is let my people go for them to go and serve me to worship me. So Yah is waking us up to uh, knocking the door of our heart. For one thing, and the purpose is what? For us to serve him, for us to draw close to him, for us to surrender unto him, for us to yield our spirit unto him. This is very important. Let's move on. Let's bring the map. We have a map on the screen right now. And now DNA is all over the places. DNA is all over the place. Um, you can see the top is Wiki Wikipedia uh, map that the Google and we have so many arrows like left and right, uh, front, and, front and center. Let's focus on the left side. That would be the uh, Far East Africa. We have Red Circle and we have Ethiopia. And um, if you pay attention very well, all the arrows on Europe and um, being Israel, Middle East, um, are all over. It's showing that these areas are the areas that uh, their DNA matches the DNA of like quote unquote the uh, Ethiopian Jews or the uh, Arab Ethiopians or Ethiopia Arabs. If you Google on um, Google mention Ethiopia Arabs or type in Ethiopia Arabs or Ethiopian Jew, this will pop out. So this is what we have on the screen right now. They are mixed with um, the Italians, uh, French, um, Germany, like all over. And they have uh, the DNA. We have big arrow pointing to Ethiopia, if you can see on the screen. And it say E1B1B. That will be the idea, uh, DNA. That is what? Why um, DNA? D uh, E1B1B. DNA of uh, this particular people in Ethiopia. Let's bring more pictures. Uh, we have another picture showing this will be their marriage ceremony as they dress. You can see how they dress as royal, very nice robe. Um, and the robe reminding us of what how the Arabs dress like they are. Would that be coat? Yes, they are, that would be the coat. So this is what we have. Um, to prove they are mixed with Arabs, we can see how the rope look like. Let's bring the, uh, the next one. This one, um, I think I like this one a lot. It is um, a DNA of one person from Eritrea. You can see um, he have uh, the D his DNA mixed with what um, Asian people. Uh, he have um, so many. It makes with what uh, they have uh, <laughs> Yemen Jews, they have um, Tigrinya, that is Ethiopia, uh, European, like so many Jews that we, we are saying. So that means they are uh, DNA mixed with um, the Ashkenazi Jews. So when they have this, uh, the name Jews going around, being Yemen, being Morocco, being different area, Northern um, Africa, 
all these jujus that mean their DNA are mixed with the Ashkenazi Jews. Let's bring the next picture. We have the next picture on the screen right now. And you can see as they dress, there's their, uh, their culture or their wedding, traditional wedding dress or their uh, church wedding dress. This is what we have on the screen right now. It is beautiful. And this show and uh, proof more that they have the about, um, Arab mixing with them. Because I'm, I'm not saying all Ethiopians are lighter skin tone. No. We have the darker skin tone. So these are mixed. And they can testify. They can tell you, oh, I have my grandfather. I have my grandmother from Italy, from Germany, from this. They know that for this person is from Arab. This person is from here. So it's his last But his story was his direct descendants of what? Uh, Solomon or Shalomon's King Solomon in the Bible. That means he's Judah. So because of that, that is the reason why they have them being Jew, Jew, Jews. But we have to find out and um, like try and find out whether it's true that they are mixed with um, the Ashkenazi or they are mixed with what? Um, the Hebrew Israelites. Let's bring the next one. We have the next picture on the screen right now. Again, this uh their wedding ceremony or their marriage ceremony. This is how they dress very, very beautifully. Let's bring the next one. This one is another DNA chart. I'll keep this on the screen in a minute. Like a, a lot of them, they are mixed with what? Uh, huh, French, they have French, they have Ashkenazi Jew, they have uh, Spanish, they have Morocco, they have Yemen, they have Jordan, um, uh, uh, Ireland, um, um, so many different, but like Jew, Jew, Turkish, um, like they are mixed with all over Europe and all that. So um, all the Jewish, Jewish, Jewish that we see, they are Ashkenazi Jews. They have uh, Palestinians among them, uh, um, Sudan, they have uh, Syria. So these are their DNA. You can do your own research and you find you have more information even than me because you have time. These are some of their DNAs that we find. We have Romans, um, like they are mixed with a whole bunch of uh, people. Let's bring the next one. We have the next one. These are, I think, the last picture that we have of the marriage couples, how they look. Um, this uh, couple look nice. Again, they are dressing. These are the Ethiopian people, whether uh, Tigrinya or Amharic. They are the mix, um, being the people of what? The emperor, being emperor Hiselasi. Before we go on, let's have another reading. Let's see something in the book, uh, Psalm 81, verse 8 to 10. Thou caltest in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. I proved thee at the waters of Mirabah, Salah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. There shall no strange God be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange God. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. The Lord Yahweh is blessing us with all these unique teachings, all this unique revelation. We have to what? Hearken unto his, uh, his voice. We have to listen to him. Uh, being a stiff-necked people is no, no. We have to what? Humble ourselves before him and have um, allow ourselves to have his ways and this will be a blessing to us all let's bring the next map uh, we have the next map on the screen right now and when you pay attention to the bottom of this uh, bottom right on the screen um, we have the um, e b e one b one um, one b uh, y d n a and you can see the percentage on the bottom. We have 10%, 20%. So the darker shade, uh, this, the darker shade, it is, it show the percentage. So the 80%, I would say that would be Somali area. Then we have 70% Ethiopia, Somali Ethiopia. 
eight uh, sixty fifty forty uh, thirty up to the twenty ten. Why do they have this um, DNA measure? And you can see so these particular people are uh, mixed with uh, those up to from Europe, um, Middle East area to the northern part of Africa, then east southern part of Africa. They are mixed. So um, let's say Europe, some may be like 20%, 30%. So that's how we, I mean, why we see them being um, different skin tone, the, um, lighter. And North Africa are what? 99.9% um, the Arabs. So they are mixed with them. So these are the DNA of these particular people, including the emperor. What am I saying? Uh, if we have the DNA of our people, you can find some, maybe they carry 10%, 5%, 2%, 0.0%, whatever. You can find them in um, this percentage in them. But what we have, we have to bring it. And you can see on top is Wikipedia. When you Google search, you find more of this. And on the bottom um, left, it says hypogroup Y. Y E one B one B D N D. So this is what we have. Let's move on. We have the last one, but on the list on the screen right now. This particular one, they are couples and from Ethiopia, as we can see on the screen. And they did their DNA test. It's on YouTube. They are YouTubers. They are, they, they did their DNA test and um bottom right you can see the map of what africa and europe asia so you can see how the dna spread you have no uh, middle east uh, some north africa europe spain um all over then asia part including um india area so these are the idea and it's not like we are we are making uh, we are making things up you can search we have so many of them but uh, we decided to bring these ones for you guys to see you can do your own uh, research it does not mean and some have like maybe a point zero percent um west africa in them some have like one percent west africa in them it will happen right but 99.9 percent .9 are what uh middle east Europe and whatnot, Asia, they are mixed with people. So the story that we heard, or we 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 uh, all these years, so um, uh, his last is what descendant of what Solomon, King Solomon of Israel, being the tribe of Judah, right? Hey, it could be maybe what point zero percent or one percent or how many percent? This is what we have, and this DNA does not lie. How many years? everything will come to light so this is what we have on the screen right now and i pray that this um uh, teachings have blessed you in any way we need to bring this um into light we need to bring these teachings for us to know the truth and this very truth will set us free will set us free the word of the day um psalm 14 verse 7 seek the lord yahweh o israel oh that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion when the Lord Yahweh restore his captive people. Jacob will rejoice. Israel will be glad. The Lord Yahweh will restore his captive people and his people will be rejoiced. So we need to what, um, set things straight. Now is the time of, of salvation. Now is the time we have to surrender. Now is the time we have to what? Seek the Mosai. Very soon, Yeshua will appear in his glory. The trumpet will sound. If you are not going with what? Him. Then please, this is the time we have to repent. Thank you so much for joining us to this time. I am so grateful for everyone that watches my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining this video. May Yahweh bless you. And keep it in Yeshua's name. Shalom, everyone. Bye-bye.